Hi, and thanks for joining us for Love Your Home, our renovation tip of the week, brought to you by Multitray Building Services. I'm Jackie Stezik, and I'm the Project Manager and Marketing Director. Each week, we talk about tips about general renovations, kitchens, bathrooms, interior design, and so much more. This week, we're going to be talking to you about our secrets for designing a functional kitchen that you're going to love. Kitchens are now the heart of the home. They've become a place where sometimes more than one person does the cooking and meal prep, particularly in multi-generational homes. But kitchens are also a place where kids do their homework, parents create a makeshift office, and friends and family gather for socializing. Kitchens need to function for many purposes, and the design of your kitchen has to reflect that. Now, where should you put the fridge? You need to consider three things. Which area provides the enough space that the doors will open while keeping all of the aisles clear? Secondly, if the fridge can be easily accessed from the oven. And third, whether it'll be sitting in direct sunlight, which can also affect how efficient it's going to be. Since your fridge door opens, make sure that where it's placed won't block a pathway that is frequently used. If a fridge is in an open area and not a cramped U-shaped kitchen space, you should be just fine. Now, where can you find more storage? You can never have too much storage in a kitchen, particularly in a small kitchen. There are some key things you can do to increase your storage capacity in your kitchen. I'm going to talk about a few of them here. First of all, install a deep fridge upper cabinet. This is almost the full depth of your fridge, which makes this cabinet much more useful and accessible. Remove the bulkhead from your kitchen and install oversized upper cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. And what about extending some of your upper cabinets all the way down to the countertop to provide some additional storage? You can see that in the slide that I've put up here. On the left-hand side, the client took a regular-sized upper cabinet, but then installed drawers below that that go all the way down to the counter. How about installing some shelves above the window in your kitchen to store some items that don't get used too often? Try installing some pullouts in all of your base cabinets. This might not necessarily provide you with more space, but it will make your existing space much more functional. Have you got a small space, maybe next to a fridge or another cabinet that's only nine or 10 inches wide? How about installing a broom closet on its side facing the opening, not into the kitchen? That will provide a 24 inch wide broom closet that's nine or 10 inches deep. Plenty of room to hang some brooms, mops, etc. And lastly, hang some hooks on one end of a base cabinet that's close to the stove and hang your most used frying pans or small pots there. Do you want to learn more of our secrets for designing a kitchen that you'll love? Check out my blog post. Just go to our website at www.multitradebuildingservices.com, click on news and scroll down to our best secrets for designing a functional kitchen you'll love. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Love Your Home Renovation Tip of the Week. I hope you'll join us next week as we're going to bring you more tips about general renovations and more. That's it for today, folks. We'll see you again next week.